Sharon, ready, set, research. Before I jump into my research, I want to ask you a question. What do you think of when you see an attractive person? Do you think, he has nice muscles or she has gorgeous hair? Well, muscles and hair are made up of proteins. Did you realize that what you were really thinking was that is some nice protein? <laughs> in science, when we talk about proteins, we're usually referring to them in terms of their specific function and what they can do. One example of this is trypsinogen, a protein in your intestines that helps to regulate and digest your, your food. But in order for trypsinogen to actually start digesting your food, it must first be activated by another protein. So the concept that I'd like to highlight is that bringing two proteins together can activate or turn on the function. We thought, wouldn't it be great if we could regulate uh, protein association? You bring proteins together, you activate them, and you separate them, you deactivate them. It's simple and just like a light switch. And proteins are everywhere in your entire body. Everything that your body does, breathing, digesting food, even getting your heart racing when you see somebody that you like, all of those are a result of protein signaling, turning proteins on and off. If we could control this, we would essentially have a switch to regulate protein signaling in any part of the body. And that is amazing. So how do we go about doing this? Well, previously, we had worked with a molecule called a cucurbiturol, which is a small ring-shaped structure that can hold proteins inside of its cavity. From previous research, we knew that a cucurbit eight-year-old could put together two proteins and essentially turn on their function. The problem that we were trying to solve was how do we separate the proteins and turn off that function. So using organic chemistry and many, many hours in the lab, we are able to synthesize what we call the cucurbiturol sponge, which is this molecule right here. The molecules shown in orange bind the cucurbiturols and in doing so kick out the proteins and that reverses the association and turns off the protein function. We are also able to regenerate our sponge, and um, we are able to regenerate our sponge. And um, so, what we have created now is uh, a tool in which to turn a function on and off at will. One application of this is in tumor cells, where the proteins that regulate cell death are always turned off. The work that I've just described would be one possibility in order to associate the proteins and turn on the cell death. I'm happy to say that our work on the cucurbiturol sponge was recently published and featured in the Journal of Organic and Biomolecular Chemistry, and hopefully you'll see more of this in the future.